let's get creative with note view. Really? Hello there reason people, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be getting creative with some player devices and really we're going to be using note view really as the central hub to bring it all together. I'm going to actually be having two note views on show most of the time and the top one is always going to be showing what my keyboard is playing and the bottom one well you see this is going to be going off and doing some other fancy stuff now as I say I'm going to be using a number of different devices so I've got myself uh, sequences here and uh, I'm just going to drop it down here very quickly for the moment and just so you can hear what we've got playing so this is a very basic sequence we've got Nothing special, and I've got that sitting on top of a Hamoud mod panel. Um, for those who don't know what a Hamoud mod panel is, um, again, this has appeared in a number of my videos. Um, it is an instrument, so you find it under instruments, which means you can put players on top. The main reason I use it is for this, so I can convert, um, obviously, player devices straight into note and gate data. Obviously, I could use something like the CV tap, which is free, but it's still got to sit on top of something. Um, WBL is something I tend to set things on, but I, I like this for the, the note and gate data coming out. And if you've never played around the mod panel, obviously we can have these going off to loads and loads of different instruments, but that's a different video altogether. The main purpose I'm using this is because I'm going to have this and I'm going to take this note and gate data. So actually, Let's quickly whiz round to the back and we might as well quickly wire this up as I'm here. So I'm going to take obviously the note and I'm going to put it to the note over in here. And I'm going to take the gate data and I'm going to put the gate data in. So there we go. So this um, sequences is going to be talking down to this Hamoud, which is going to be talking to this note view. So if we switch round to the front and I hit play over here, you notice you're not getting any sound, nothing's really happening. But if you look very closely, you can see we're actually transposing note view all the time. Now what's going to happen is, I'm going to actually play this device here. And I'm going to, as I hit a key, and you'll see it coming up, it's going to act like, uh, yeah, it's going to act like a gate. So as I hit the key, it's going to act like the gate, and it's also going to take my note, and then it's going to transpose it by this much. And obviously this transpose number is depending on where we are in the actual sequence. So if I was really, really good at my timing and you can hear it's playing the same thing, but obviously I can hold a key down. So you can see I'm holding down here, C3, this is what we're playing now. But the great thing is, the sequence is still going, even though I'm holding this key down. And obviously the same applies for chords. I just hold the chord down, I'm now playing down there. And I'm playing the same chord. But it's been totally transposed. So this is in itself is, is quite a bit of fun. It's when you start adding other bits in to this, it becomes a lot, lot more fun. <laughs> and what I'm going to actually add in now to actually give this a real bit of fun is uh, an Euclidium. So I'm just going to quickly grab this up and put this on the top. So now when I, and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use the hold. Let's, let's use the hold for the moment. And I've actually got this wired up to my T1 so I can actually change the patterns and I'm going to be changing this on the fly, some, some velocity and some of the length data no data and things like that. So I'm now going to just hit one key only. And this is still playing. So this is being transposed. And then we're going to go through this. So one key. And hit the key a bit harder. Oops. Several there.
So very simply by using this, now merging with this, we're now getting a different pattern coming down and coming through to our device, what we're, we're actually using. Now, as I say, because I can play my, my hand myself, obviously I can transpose this around. And if we didn't have hold on, then obviously I'm controlling things more when I let go. So it's just a, a, a nice little bit of fun of just sort of bringing that in and bringing this in. And just because I'm using uh, sequences over here, obviously we can actually use any kind of um, device where we can get some, some data out of. So, you know, there's nothing stopping you using obviously beat map sequences. We've got polystep, you can use a drum sequencer, compulsion. We've got a sequencer here in Thor, good old matrix, the AS1600. And don't forget things like, um, like, like with Predator, you know, you can get some very interesting patterns coming out of the, the arpeggiator stuff, what you've got here. Because don't forget with the uh, rack extension version, there's absolutely tons of uh, outputs on these things. And they are quite powerful, uh, the uh, Rob Popper pen stuff. And obviously you've got things like your note recorder, uh, propulsion and corgi. And then there's, there's quite a few others as well, which you can actually use. Um, and and it's just virtually wiring them up in the same way. I'm gonna grab, let's grab this one over, shall we? So let's grab over a beat map this time. So by not having hold on, it is gonna play the first note. So I could turn this off. So in fact, actually, let's turn this off to start with. And then I'm just gonna turn the beat map on. And if you've noticed, what I've actually done is I've put everything to uh, different C keys, so it's not going all over the place. So the pulses now from Beatmap are virtually gating and allowing through, and where we're transposing to this pattern. Now I'm going to turn on uh, Euclidean. It doesn't matter what patterns I'm selecting because it's going to keep me firing and keep going off the front one. But what comes in handy about using this in conjunction with this is when I start playing around with my velocity and start playing around with my lengths. Now there's nothing stopping me, obviously putting a hold on this. But now effectively, we're not, we'll be driving it again from, the gate would be driven from the Euclidean. However, the notes and the way it's being transposed will be coming from the beat now. So this is deciding exactly where we're transposing to. This is going to supply the root notes it's going to be starting to transpose it. And this is now going to be supplying the gate information. this one step further as well. So the great thing about, um, well, as we know, we've got things CV, so we've got our length, we've got velocity, and we've got our density. So down here, I've got myself a simple little LFO wired up, and I'm, I'm using the um, unipolar coming out, and I've got two on random, let around to the front, let's have a quick look at these a bit closer two on random and if you notice I'm actually using the smooth so there's two randoms on the little LFO there's the, the sharp square and then we've got what we refer to the smooth so it's so when it changes the value it's just going to more smoothly go between them so if I start to turn these on and 
because we're using CV, you've just got to remember that if we turn these down a bit at the front, that's going to be our base value. If you take velocity all the way down to zero, it'll actually go dead. So let's... And the nice thing about uh, Euclidean as well is because even though I'm using CV, you can see the values all changing. This is something which you don't usually get to see what's happening, and obviously the patterns are changing as well. So on a lot of devices, when you're using CV, you don't see what's actually happening. So just a very, very quick recap what's going on here. Beatmap is supplying the actual bass notes. Euclidium is really doing the gating, and obviously, We've got the sequence at the top, which is doing, deciding where we're transposing to, and, and note views doing that all for us. So it's bringing the notes in, it's doing all the transposing, and then it's going down to my instrument. And we can just have a lot of fun with this sort of stuff. And obviously I can still play over the top of it as well if I want to.
Thank you for watching and bye for now.